Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. All right, so today, you guys are in my closet as always. But I'm going to be replacing that last section over there with the IKEA packs. That way, everything is lined up properly and everything is screwed together. Eventually, I do want to change my Billy bookshelves. Guys, I wish I had gotten the taller... Um, <laughs> the taller ikea packs i did not know that it would be able to fit so now i have this huge space at the top which is fine but i do want to replace that one day or even just find something to put my shoes on and raise them up just a bit that way they're not right at the door of the billy bookshelves i believe it's like 12 inches deep but you guys know some of these pointy shoes that we have, it's like hitting the door. I do like my shoes covered and my bags covered. It's not a ton of, let's show you guys, not a ton of bags. But I recently just pulled out my boots because they were still in the boxes. And I hate the boxes in the house, period. So I did put my boots at the bottom. And this will actually help me not buy stuff that I really don't need. So basic boots and stuff that you need are... Your neutral colors, you can throw some pops in there, but you do not need a ton of boots to have an everyday stylish look. Trends come and go, guys. You guys know how I feel about trends. So, if I did buy a trendy or shoe, it's probably not going to stay in my wardrobe long. These are colors that I have now. Those Jennifer Lee boots, those are very trendy, but I really like them. Like, I see myself wearing them for a very long time. I had them for a couple of years. And it's because the colors in the boots are colors that I like. Um, so, I did move some stuff around. I put all my shoes to... I used to have my shoes in one, my bags in the other. But I just kind of did them like this because I um, wanted to get my boots in. So, basically, I lost four shelves. Um, and now I have shoes and stuff here that I was never going to wear. <laughs> That I'm going to go on Poshmark. Let me guys show you one that I actually really, really love. And the reason why. Ugh, the only boots I don't have in there are my Gia Pernil Because those, those are so chunky. But let me tell you. These boots right here. I absolutely. It's coming up so bright on camera. But these are so freaking cute. And when I first purchased them. These are. These are French Connection. When I first purchased these, they were like fitting fine. But child, <laughs> I bought these so many years ago. But I feel like ever since, I don't know, I feel like my feet are spreading. I am slim. My feet are spreading. This little piece right here hurts. Like, it's just too much. So, these are going to go on Poshmark. These are a size 11. Um, and I wore them once. I wore them once. But my feet, I don't know. Let me know if you... Listen, I don't have children. But for me, the older I get, I just feel like my feet are like just spreading. They were already big. So I have a couple of things that I want to put on Poshmark. Some old Nine West boots that I still think are very, very cute. Um, They're just loud when you walk with them. And... Oh, you know what else I didn't put in there? I didn't put in my Tory Birch boots. And I can probably slide her over there somewhere. I think I am. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go get some breakfast right now and eat before I actually start. Because this, I, I'm, I'm afraid to actually do this. Because it's just the pieces. But I'm going to try it out. But let's go downstairs and get some breakfast. And yeah. So that's it guys.
right guys, let's turn this down. I was watching a YouTube video. And so I'm gonna make some oatmeal. So let me tell you what I do. Hold on. Eat that slice of pizza. So what I usually do is, if I can't make a protein drink, I would typically take my hemp protein powder and I put it in my oatmeal. Yeah, along with some, now I'm supposed to use saline cinnamon, but child, I don't really like it. Um, so I'm gonna use regular organic cinnamon and just put it, everything in here and have my, sorry guys, <laughs> have my breakfast for the day. Um, it's so bright in this kitchen, let me close this door. That's my pantry. I think I did a video a long time ago, but that's my pantry with all of my stuff. My water, I just have like a whole bunch of crap in here. You guys see Dr. Bobby Price's detox. I had some left over. Um, so he definitely gives you more than, um, hey, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys the rice that I buy. This is the rice that I buy. This rice is $135, guys. So let me tell you, I like to have that along with my, my quinoa. That way I am having a mix of stuff during the week. So I'm gonna wait for this to cook and then I'm gonna go back upstairs and, you know, do the closet. I hope I can do it because I swear to you, sometimes I feel like Ikea things are just like, just too much. My sofa should be here. I'm hoping another couple of weeks. My table from RH, my coffee table should be here on the 16th. Um, I still haven't purchased a red yet for the living room. I bought some frames. Let me show you guys the frames that I got from Home Goods. So I got these from Home Goods. And they came two in a pack. These are 24, 24 by 24? I think so. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I think they're 24 by 24. And you can pretty much put them up any way. So the center, the center picture is an eight by 10. But if you think about it, you could actually put it this way as well. If you found the photo, if you don't want to do it this way. I think this is 20 by 20. Yes, 20 by 20. Yeah, and they were, they were 40 bucks. Really nice, from home goods. <clears throat> so, I just have a few more things before I um, actually go ahead and start to do everything else. I just need those pieces. I need my sofa here because I really need to see the color in person. Even though this is the this is the um this is the fabric that i got it's it's a gap it's, the sofa is called gathered um the color is frost and the fabric is monet which is like a chanel fabric it's really pretty it was so many others that i could have gotten but this one i don't know this one stuck out to me can you guys see that it's really nice. Like when I saw it in the store in a different color, I was like, that's a nice fabric. Like it is cozy. I did get a 98 inch sofa, which is longer than a standard sofa. Remember the first one that I purchased from Ashley's and this is some Crate and Barrel. The first one that I got from Ashley's was, <laughs> it was a nice sofa cause it looked like the cloud sofa but in like a faux leather suede situation, it was really nice. Now the gray one was really nice. I wanted the white color because my living room area is so dark, but the problem was when it got here, when he took it out of the package, it was dirty. And I was like, does that mean, like, did they package it dirty? So I just refused it and sent it back. Now they had really quick shipping, uh, but most, 
other stores the shipping was like a long time but i sent it back so i got this one instead it is performance fabric it's a little bit more to get performance fabric and um let's come over here and get this oatmeal going and i'm just gonna like listen i use just a little tiny tiny <laughs> this is like a teapot a saucepan i think they call it and I just kind of jab. I might add just a little bit more water. Some people use milk, but I just use my spring water. And then I just, I literally don't put any sweetener in here. I just put my strawberries and my, my bananas and my blueberries and the protein powder. And it holds me over for a little while. So this was awesome. So I was supposed to have a consultation today and I, the young lady, I just realized that she was a no-show twice and ha it looks like she changed her name. And I'm just like, is this the same girl? And when I look back at the DM, I was like, I can't. So when I have clients, if they are a no-show, I do not do a, a complimentary, complimentary consultation. Um, they're gonna just have to like flat out book and that's it. So, you know, it's, it's a waste of my time to just like get up and set up the Zoom and get everything prepared. So I do have that rule in place. If you are a no-show for your complimentary, you're never gonna get another one. <laughs> and people have to be mindful of what we have going on as far as, like we have things going on in our lives, right? So be courteous of other people's time. Yeah. So she, she, she can't, she can never book. I mean, she can book flat out, but she can't uh, have a complimentary. So now she has to pay you know, so I'm just cooking. <laughs> I actually have the pot like not sitting on the stove. I have it like above the heat. This burner is really big. I love my new stove, guys. Like I do. So I'm just like letting it get like really, really soft. And then I'm gonna eat. So what I'll do is I'll eat a little bit and then I will bring you guys back upstairs while I'm doing the Ikea packs. I'll film a little bit of it because I know it's gonna take me a while and then show you guys the finishing uh, product and then let you guys know if it's easy to do it by yourself. I see girls do it all the time and I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'ma try, I'ma try, I'ma try. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. in the room and we are actually going to start it's my sister start building the, the bookcase out um i'm not gonna 
show you guys the entire thing because it's going to be way too long. But I'll give you guys a little snippet of, let's bring it down. And I'll show you guys with me starting and reading the instructions. And then just kind of speed through everything. But yeah, so I will catch you guys in a second.
finished my sis my pack piece. Now I was struggling, guys, but I'm gonna put my jackets over there and I'm gonna add in two drawers that I had in another piece, and then I'm just gonna situate the closet and then I'll give you guys a full pan over. I may move some stuff around, but I am extremely tired, but you guys will get to see the final reveal. I still am going to need another rug in here. I took the other one out. I didn't like it. And I'm going to get a small ottoman and probably move my mirror around. I just don't want to take away from the light from the window. So I will catch you guys in a second. And I'll probably breeze through all of this so you guys don't have to watch this crap. Well, watch the slow-mo. <laughs> all right. So I am pretty much done with everything i have like a little bit of battery left so as you guys can see i did change out the one system that i had there and replaced it with the packs it fits perfectly i could still open my closet door let me show you guys really quick i can still open it up so that's perfect but it looks really good i'll pan over and do a whole closet view um I pretty much cleaned up, got a lot, got rid of a lot of stuff, things that I'm going to put on Poshmark, and I'm super, super happy. So, thank you guys for tuning in for today's video, and make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY, and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NY, <laughs> NYC, and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one, guys. Bye, guys.